Um, so what's this look like? If it looks like a painted car, you'd be correct. And I meant to actually go and show you guys the process, but things got in the way. First of all, um, my Sony that I use to record everything died literally in the booth while I was painting. I had a whole lot of nice content with that, so I switch over to my phone, and then I film the rest of it with that, and I'm trying to put footage together, and then the phone decides to brick. So all that footage is gone, all the photos I took of the car are gone, everything's gone. So I'm recording off of a new phone, which is having a little bit of a issue trying to focus here, but yeah, the car's, uh, the car's painted. And I am just now trying to wet sand everything, and it's real nice, isn't it? Ooh, Ooh yeah. So, okay, what did I do? I did a lot of stuff, actually. Um, <clears throat> I'm wet sanding pretty much everything now. So, the only things that have not been wet sanded are the doors. And I've been sort of dragging my feet on the doors because from down here... It looks absolutely fine, but up here, you can obviously see that there's some uh, some orange peel like on the top part of the door, but on the bottom part of the door, everything's pretty good. Everything's actually like it came out well in the booth. Um, and then I haven't done the rear quarters yet, but I just put this uh, fender beating down there yesterday. Um, but on the other one, I have to do a touch up. There's actually a few spots that I need to paint correct, which I think is going to be the majority of this video. And that is this spot right here has been, you know, I just by wet sanding, I broke through it a little bit. Tried to use this stuff from Paint Scratch to fill it in right there, but it's not quite the right color. So that sucks. Um, so I basically just smoothed it down. I got a touch up gun and I'm just going to take care of that. Um, and I'm using the paint that I got from, uh, the, I'm using a, the same sort of paint from the same guy who mixed it up for me prior, so it should be the same color this time. But this guy happened because of a run that started down here and then just phew, ended up drying right around there, so that's why that one happened. But it's this spot, and then, by the way, I want to just sort of like pat myself in the back on how nice this whole section looks because if you remember that was giving me just an absolute bear of a time and now it's just absolutely perfect so go me the other part there's two other parts that I need to actually touch up one part is right down here on the fender it's kind of hard to see but you can see where the mismatch color is that's where I tried to repair it with the stuff that I got from paint scratch and obviously you could see it's not the right color. It's just a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is touch that whole part up. This guy hasn't been wet sanded yet. So, and that's the reason why It's because I need to do that. And then this part is probably the most egregious. There was a little bit of a burn through that happened there. Um, and I just decided, screw it. I'm just going to level the whole thing off and I'm just going to go and paint this, uh, paint this pillar. And that's pretty much it as far as touch ups go. Uh, everything worked out pretty well in that regard. Got the got the antenna put on, and the beating. All the beating is done on the front part of the car. Uh, and then there's some little spots that are like almost rock chip size. That I kind of God, that looks nice. Hey that are like sort of rock chip size that I want to take care of on this fender. Specifically, most of them are hidden, but that guy right there uh, has got my ire, and I really want to take care of him. And where that came from was just so the sealer I used was white. So obviously this was some dust that got in the paint that I didn't find and didn't denib in time and basically just cleared over it. And then in the process of wet sanding it, it just popped up. So that stinks. Um, but everything else on the front end is pretty much done. I got the fender beating put on there. And then I did the entire fuel system, as far as like, excuse my mess, 
as far as replumbing everything, getting all that stuff squared away. So that's all done. And then I actually have a functioning fuel door now. And doesn't that look really, really nice? It's a little, like, it's a, like, this is, like, slightly off center. It's slightly going over there. And I really hope that's not an issue. Uh, filling it up, like, sticking the actual, um, filler nozzle in there. I hope I can still do it, otherwise I'm going to have to realign the entire fender to get it to work. So that's that. Looks good. So everything else is like done, the hood's done, the rear hatch is done, I gotta put these guys back on. Um, the only stuff that I have to actually do, I have to, the doors are just kind of half-assed on, I have to actually hang those but then there's these two pieces, the um, ashtray and the glove box door. We're all scratched up and sort of rusting out, so I'm going to repaint those as well. Everything else on the interior here is single stage, so I can, I've, I've tested it out. I can literally just buff it and uh, put some rubbing compound and it'll shine right up. So I'm waiting on a few things. Six. That looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah. So I'm waiting on a few things. Uh, the first thing I'm waiting on is I need to get my washer nozzle there, put that in, and then once that's in, then I can put the wiper motor back in, and then I can put the rest of the, um, I can put the fresh air box back in, put all the heating, or I guess I shouldn't say heating, I should say fresh air lines um, not lines, hoses. I can put those all back in and take this dash out. I can look and see if there actually is a speaker under there and I can start quasi wiring um, a stereo because all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a head unit in the glove box and just drill a hole in the back and have all the wires come out of the head unit and then just use a remote control for that. So um, that's about it. I guess I should tell you like how I did all this shit. So I found a guy in Concord, which might not mean anything to you guys, but it means that he's about 40 miles from me. And I found him through a friend, uh, actually from someone who I was thinking was going to paint my car. And then he was like, no, I can't do it. And I said, well, you know anyone who rents a booth? He says, as a matter of fact, yep. he says, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, but he's in Concord, so I call the guy up, and I ask him, you know, like, do you still rent your booth? He says, yeah. I says, okay, how much? He says, 200 bucks. I'm like, okay, how long is that for? He's like, no, for the weekend. So I'm like, all right, that's pretty sweet. All right, hang on. This is fucking annoying. Sorry about that. So, so I'm like, okay, 200 bucks a weekend. That's pretty damn good. And I go and I check out his shop. It's a heated shop. Or it's a heated booth with downdraft. It's much better than where I was spraying uh, the primer at. So I'm like, I love this guy. Uh, so I bring all my stuff over. I tow the car over. And I do all that stuff. Um, the guy was fantastic. My gun that I was using from, e from uh, not eBay, from, uh, yeah, I still got some schmutz here. From um, Amazon actually crapped out on me while I was putting down the base. And I take it to the guy, and I'm like, help me fix this stupid thing. And he's like, you know what, here. And he gives me, I forget the brand of it. I think it's, it starts with an S. But it's a German-made gun. It's about $600. He's like, here you go. I'm like, are you sure? He's like, yeah, man, I got like seven of these. Don't worry about it. It's, it's my workhorse gun. So then everything went fantastic, and everything laid down really, really nice. Um, and I did it all in one day, and it took me about 12 hours from start to finish, and I will go as far as I can before I ever have to do that shit again because it completely wore me out. But, I mean, as far as, like, only having to correct three things on the paint, that's really not, uh, that's really not that big a deal. I'm actually pretty happy about that. Um, the roof didn't come out spectacular, and once I actually get it out in the sun, you'll be able to see what I mean, but there's some tiger striping um, towards, like, here. And that really doesn't bother me too much because I'm going to have a rack on anyway, so you'll never see it. But I guess when I was putting down the sealer, I didn't uh, put it down level enough because it, there's just some, just some high-low spots um, color-wise. So 
That sucks. But anyways, a lot of stuff I'm waiting on. I got a lot of time because I just uh, left my job because, you know, I don't know, there's reasons, but it was mutual. So now I got time to actually work on this thing and actually produce content and hopefully not have my camera to die on me while I'm trying to make this content for you guys. So I got lots of stuff to do and I got nothing but time. So let's get to it. Well, got the old ultrasonic back. However, it's not the one that I was using in my old videos. That one died a long time ago and I figure, well, it's Harbor Freight. So I can just go get another one for 30 bucks whenever I need it. Well, guess what? These things are $80 now. Harbor Freight's trying to go up market, I guess. So what I got in here is I got some latches and such in there. Uh, half simple green, half water. I'm just letting that guy run for a little while. And I've got my fender all set to go here with my spots that I need to touch up. Just there, there, and there. I got it back taped a little bit just so that, you know, um, that when I spray it down, I'm not gonna get any hard lines because of that. And hopefully I can control the overspray going this way. But we'll see about that. That's a little HF gun, touch up gun. Really, like, what, 20 bucks, if that. And then I got my, my stuff mixing here, so we'll see what we can do. Let's check the fan pattern. See if I like it. I was messing around with the fan pattern a little bit and seeing how I was trying to have it, you know, with the, the fan wide open. Uh, makes it a little bit more wide than I want it to be, so I basically got it to there, just a little, a little dot. And it looks like coverage is pretty good. So, and no, yeah, looks good. So, this stuff you gotta let it sit for about 10 minutes. two coats on this and then let it sit for about a half hour and then come back with, with clear coat but the overspray on this is so negligible I might just spray uh, spray this stuff in the garage as well just because it's there is no overspray really so I might just do that cool hey howdy so I decided to do everything and let's see if I can get my flashlight turned on too. Can't turn on flashlight, camera being used by another app. Fine then. Um, it's okay. This is good now. So the tape was kind of a bad idea. I should have taped it further up because I ended up getting a line. And all that meant is I just take it off and lightly dust over it to blend it out. So that's fine. Um, this one I went a little heavy. 
So I got a little run there and there, so I gotta wait for this to completely dry. Scuff that off and do that one again. But well, that's the only bad one that I saw. This guy's fully done. He's blended up. Can't even tell. And then the other guys. So I have a 24 hour window to apply the clear um, without having to scuff the paint back up. So I'm gonna miss that mechanical or the chemical bond, but whatever. I don't have time today to, to do everything at once. So got the hood out here because there was an itty bitty little spot right there. So I just blended that out, put some stuff on there. Now you can't tell. And then this guy, same thing, blended it out a little bit. So now it looks fine. You can still tell there's a little bit of something there. Why? I'll hit that again. You can still tell there's a little thing there, but it's not like anyone will know except you and me. And then the ashtray got its first coat, so I'll just give it a second one. And that's it. I'm not even going to try to wet sand that stuff. I'm just going to put clear on it and forget about it. But this one, there was obviously some stuff on here that the paint didn't like because it's bubbling and all that shit. So I'm going to wait for this to completely dry overnight, sand it all down, um, and try again. But, I mean, this is not a big deal at all. I am not concerned. I'll just, I'll just get, sand it all down and do it again. So for today, I think that's pretty good. Um, thankfully, it doesn't smell like crap in there. So, but I'm still not going to do clear until tomorrow. Actually, I might. No, I am going to have to do clear tomorrow, even though my wife's going to be home. She's just going to have to put up with it because I only have a window of a day to deal with this stuff. So that's it. Not a complete disaster. Positive side of things. Just got to remember, go, go horizontal. Ugh. These are actually looking pretty good. If I can duck my hand in here. Whoa, shit. This is hard. So, whoa, sh ow, 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 hot. That's looking pretty damn good. Nice. And that is the front hood latch. Let's see if I can... There we go. This is the one I was worried about. It was this one because the f top here looks ugly. Looks like it's got old paint. All that other shit, but I guess it's as good as it's gonna look. Which isn't that good. Bottom side looks nice, but too bad no one's gonna see that. Yeah. I don't know. But at least I know that this works. Just let it sit there overnight. Um, at least I know that the ultrasonic will work on some of these old parts. It's just, um... Yeah, it's just that it, I guess it needs a little bit more help. Oh, turn off! Needs a little bit more help with um, the latch for the hood, but whatever. Day two. Um, let's pretty some clear. So I got this gun that I used a long, long, long time ago. Um, another cheapo gun. Uh, that I used to spray primer with, and it worked fine for that. But the reason why I'm switching guns is because I can't, according to the manufacturer of the clear coat, I have to spray with a 1.4 tip. Now I think this is a 1.3 or 1.2. I don't have a 1.4 on me right now, but the touch-up gun is a 0.9 tip. So this is a little, this at least gets me a little bit better. But I mean, this doesn't have any fan control on it or anything like that, so. I'll use it a little bit and see how it works. If it stinks, then I'll just have to move to the touch-up gun and just deal with it. Because this, this fan pattern is, you know, I can't, like, dial it in at all. It is what it is. But, anywho, let's try a little bit. I guess I'll try it on Fender first. Let's see how that goes. If it stinks, then I'll go to the other gun. Ugh. 
put a little bit of clear in. Not too much, just in case it didn't work too well. I'm not wasting material. So. One thing I don't like. So it looks like it does okay as far as coverage. It's going to be peatly, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to have to wet sand that down, anyways. But what I don't like is this. This definitely looks like there's. This is lighter. And like it looks like there was some issue with coverage there. It just doesn't look right. I have to think about that one for a second. I don't know. I doubt it's the clear itself. It looks like it's reacting a little bit. That's weird because I put wax and grease all over it. Oh, okay. I have to think about that one. Not quite sure what to do. So, this is an acceptable amount of blend but there's something that happened that the clear coat didn't like so that's got to come off and I got to redo that down here on this part of the touch-up that actually looks okay I'm just gonna leave it um, and then this got a little left up had some crud some crap in there I got off and I gotta blend that or sand that down redo that and then this still don't know um, definitely this whole thing I should have wet sanded with like 1500 I should have wet sanded the base um, because this doesn't look too good like there's crap going in there I can see the dusting of it but if I just wet sanded it I don't know it might have looked better but I gotta let this dry overnight because I can still like leave marks in it my fingernails so I can't sand it yet so I'll leave that one for a little bit, but I mean these are panels, I can take them off and do them whenever, it's not a big deal. So I did just decide to pull the trigger and paint the car itself. And it's actually looking a little better, like this spot is good, it's just waiting for its second coat. Blend. That's the blend, so like some rubbing compound and polish can get that looking better and then I got a little bit of run right there but it's not a big deal because this is just the clear coat that I just put on so I can literally just razor blade that off and it's not a big deal it's not going to cut into anything but 
That's looking good. I can't see too much of an issue with that. On the other side, I actually resprayed it again with the base coat because I thought, well, maybe I didn't mix it well enough. So I agitated it for about five minutes and resprayed it and didn't see too much of a difference, but I mean, there's not really too much I can do right now, so I'm just going to put my second coat of clear on that and then blend it probably up to here and then probably down to there and just live with it. I mean, what can I do? I mean, I could probably, I could definitely take the base coat back and have them tint it, but the weird thing about it is, is that like matching it up on the can to what's on the car, it looks exactly the same. So I'm thinking it's something in my gun maybe maybe it didn't agitate it enough and this will turn out perfect I don't know or maybe when I'm done cutting and no the rubbing compound isn't going to change how the base looks I mean that's just that's just what it is so I just got to live with it it doesn't look terrible it's just a little off but you know doing the best I can. I'm hoping it just looks acceptable when, I'm all, when it's all said and done. But here's hoping, man. I'm going to keep working at it. It's the next day. This is hardened up. Can't get it with, with my fingernail anymore, so I'm going to sand this off. Try and blend that down a little bit. And then just reshoot this entire area. And then see where I'm at. And then for the hood, it's really just this one place right here. And honestly, I'm not too upset about the blending of the color. It's just the clear is rough there. So I'm just going to take that clear off and respray it. No big deal. But that one needs a little bit of work. All right, this is looking better. First coat of clear. Looking good. Looks blended better than it was. Um, and really all I did is just between base coats, I wet sanded it. Or, right, I should say, yeah, just trying to blend it out best I could. Let's make that transition from one part to the other as smooth as possible. So, I think I achieved that. It's looking good. Now I'm just spotting up this spot right here on the hood. It's pretty much ready to go. Doing this back side of this latch. Or pivot, I should say. And then the door here is a bit of a mess because I got trash in it. And I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll keep massaging that one like it's just a, just a glove box door. It's really not a big deal. So that one's looking good. I'm going to wait for about a half hour and then start trying to denib uh, best I can and then do another coat. But I might have to... If this is too, like, if it's too crazy, I may have to just let it sit until late in the evening and then denib it and then spray it again, just to be sure. But, I mean, it's just, like, little, little trash parts, but I really want to take care of those. So I want to make sure it's done right. But it's hot. It's noon. This is going to cook for a while. So we'll see what happens. Uh, looking up, not going to get my hopes up yet, but it's looking better, definitely looking better. can't see it, you can't see it, but this is the second coat of clear, and it looks perfect, it's no issue at all. I have no idea what I did different from the last time to make this turn out better. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what I did, uh, but it looks better now. I mean, the only things different I did was I just wet sanded the base before I put the clear on. That's it. I don't know what that did. Anyways. Alright, I'm just going to let that cook for the rest of the day. Along with everything else I'm clearing. And I'll turn my attention to other things.